Hi, my name is Carolyn Robert. I'm the librarian for physics, astronomy, and earth sciences at the University of Minnesota. And I have four books today that involve one of my favorite things to do during the summer. I'm from central Illinois, and I used to spend summer nights staring at the stars, watching satellites go over, watching the space shuttle go over, the International Space Station, all of that stuff, and the stars. Um, so the four books I have for you today are about space. So the first book I have is called Rocket Girl. It's by George Morgan, and it's the story of Mary Sherman Morgan, America's first female rocket scientist. This is a book we have in our collection at Walter Library. So this book, Rocket Girl, is a very personal book for the author. Mary Sherman Morgan is George Morgan's mother. And she was a scientist uh, after World War II during the Cold War. But she was a very private person. And not much of her life or her work or her achievements uh, were known. And um, her son wanted to bring her story to life. In 2008, he wrote a play. And it was performed at Caltech. Um, and this is the book with the same name. The next book I have is one of my favorite books of 2013. It's called An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth, and it's by Colonel Chris Hadfield. Chris Hadfield is a retired Canadian astronaut, and he was also the commander of the International Space Station in early 2013. And An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth is a, um, is a book about what being an astronaut and going to space taught him about life and his career and approaching problems. And he takes advice that we hear like, don't sweat the small stuff, and turns it on his head. He says, among other things, do sweat the small stuff, uh, because in space it can save your life. So it's a fascinating book about his career as an astronaut. And I really recommend this book if you haven't read it already. A third book I have is called The Seven Secrets of How to Think Like a Rocket Scientist by Jim Longuski. And this is in our ebook collection. And this is a light book um, about different ways that rocket scientists think. And it's told in a very general way. So one section of the book is called Dream, um, for example. That's how, that's how he says rocket scientists start. They dream big and they dream crazy. Um, so Think Like a Rocket Scientist is a nice short book. It's light reading, it's fun, and there's no math, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and this book is, again, available as an ebook, so you could take it with you. The fourth book I have, and the last book, is also in Walter Library's collection. Um, it is called Space Odyssey, The First 40 Years of Space Exploration by Sergei Brunet. And what drew me to this book in particular was the amazing pictures that the book has. Um, beautiful full color photographs of um, inside spacecrafts and of the moon and of, um, of the space stations. It's absolutely beautiful. And what's also really interesting about this book is that it's told from an international perspective. So a lot of the um, histories of space exploration that I've read focus on the United States space program. Um, but Space Odyssey looks at all of space exploration from many different countries. So you'll hear of the Soviet Union space program. And that perspective was really interesting. Um, I'm familiar with the United States space program, the Gemini program, the Apollo program. Um, but I wasn't as familiar with the Russian programs, um, their cosmonauts their rituals before flight, all that stuff. So this is a really, really interesting read. It's a big one. So I hope you do some interesting space reading over the summer. And thanks very much.